Okay, here's the electric hydraulic actuator setup. I call this kind of the power pack with the original electric actuator from Surplus Center mounted on it. Pushes this cylinder down and then goes to the cylinder mounted on the mill. It's got a spring in it to pull the plunger back up each time. I need to put a little bit stronger spring in it and I'll be putting new side plates on also that aren't so large and uh, bulky as those are since the electric unit doesn't have to go on it. Anyway, it's pretty simple. The actuator pushes the cylinder down, transfers through here. Okay, the collet just fell out. It's right here. Now, it would act, it'll work quicker once I get the proper hydraulic line. This is just ice maker line. It's only rated for about 150 psi, so it's acting like a bladder and kind of blowing up. And it would probably explode if I didn't if it didn't have the stainless steel braid on it. So let me set this down, put the collet back in. Okay, going back up. Okay, and that's it. And now you can see the sorry about the camera work. You can see the uh, plunger went back up and clears the spindle. And that's that's it. And it's just prototype form, so this power pack unit can be mounted anywhere. And uh, I plan to mount it on a stand later after I get it welded up, the, the stand. And uh, works pretty good. So I thought you might be interested in checking it out. That way you don't have all this heavy, bulky stuff piled up on top of the mill. And it could even be an air cylinder with whatever levers necessary on your power pack. That's it.